uh, another thing I want to mention is, you know, I want to really learn from this experience. And the thing is, you know, when I'm using equipment, like a bob dummy, a bench press, a squat, um, a wooden dummy, a power twister, I have complete control over that equipment and, and how, how it, like, whether or not it endangers my health, you know what I'm saying? And my safety. But when it comes to people, you can't control people. Like, you don't know what their inner intentions are. You don't know, like, how they really feel and what, what their intentions are. And they could be out to hurt you, like, secretly. You know what I'm saying? True. And um, this whole thing, this whole experience has got me to reevaluate it all. And um, as, as, as far as myself is concerned, it's not worth it at all. Like, I'm not like D. Rose who's getting paid millions of dollars to play basketball and then he, he t tears his ACL. You know, I'm, I'm not making money to put my, 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 my life and my, my, my body in jeopardy like in this way. And I have, you know, you know, if people don't have, if they can't follow directions, you know, if they, can, if they have a problem like following ru basic rules, you know, I'm supposed to be serving to help their development in combat. But if they end up hurting me because they they can't follow rules, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to put my body in that type of danger so then you could, like, stroke your ego. You know what I'm saying? True. It's like I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not getting paid for this. And even if I was getting paid, I still wouldn't want to do that. I mean, basically, it boils down to this. You know, safe sparring is safe sparring. It's supposed to be safe. Nobody's supposed to get any serious injuries. If somebody gets a serious injury, then there's somebody at fault, or maybe the person that was like, like um, conducting it was, you know, the teacher or whatever was not like, you know, like uh, aware enough or paying attention enough, and then somebody get got get hurt. This is not the first time, but other people have gotten hurt in, in other occasions, and and this is leading towards more serious injuries. And I'm like, you know what, like. I'm I'm thinking this like to to the, the worst where if I did tear my ACL, and then it's really preventing me from enjoying life because I can't do a lot of things that I used to do. I'm I'm, I'm pretty much like ready to just to just um give up that type of sparring for me. You know, I see. But, but if other people that I'm training, if they want to do something like that, then if they really want to do it, I could arrange it. And I could try to, my hardest to keep it safe while they understand the risks involved, then I could arrange it. But as, as far as myself is concerned, I don't even want it, I don't even feel a need to even engage in it. Because it's putting my, my body at unnecessary risk that's, um, it, it's, and it's, it, it could really, like, destroy my future. It's not really like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to do that stuff. Because I can't control the people that I'm doing it with. You know, and especially if they're aggressive or competitive. They don't, you know, competitive is, is a big thing. If they're competitive, automatically it's going to end up leading towards, like, somebody's injury. Like, if they cannot accept, you know, like, they want to prove something, it already will lead towards somebody's injury. And I'm like, you know what, I refuse to engage in that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, um... I'm learning from this, and I'm, I'm going to make sure that if my knee does heal how and goes back to how it used to be, I'll make sure that this won't happen again. Because you know what? I'm not even going to do it again. You know, especially with people that I feel that are too competitive. But, you know, it's, it's, it's just like just taking better precautions. It's almost like when you say spar with somebody, it's almost like, you know, choosing an intimate partner and then trusting that person and whether or not they sleep around with other people and stuff like that. Because if they do, then they might have a disease. They might have herpes and then they go ahead and give it to you. Yeah. So when it comes to the sparring stuff, they, don't con they can't control themselves and then you end up getting hurt? No. F that. I'm not even, I'm not going to put myself in that position again. Yeah. Even if, if, even if you have some higher level than him, it's not worth your life in danger like that, you 
Yeah, but it's not even about being at a high level. It's just about, you know, I was going to make a video saying, illustrating this point. Like, the dangerous person is the person that has no control. It's not about being at a high level. Yeah. You understand? Like, when you have somebody that's, like, mentally unstable and then he has a gun, that's dangerous. But the people that have control that, that are not mentally unstable and they have guns, that's not dangerous. It's the people that have no control that are dangerous. You know, it, it, to me, it's complete bullshit. You know, I hold back a hundred punches and then I don't hurt them at all. And then they, they don't hold back and they hurt me. That's bullshit.